After completing this lesson, you'll be able to use the Sculpt tools to create a cylinder which will form the outer body, and use the freeform modelling tools and reference sketches to modify and refine the outer socket body in order to match the required design. So now we're going to create the final outer socket layer. To do this, click Home, then turn on the visibility for both canvases. I want to label the previous body that we built in the last lesson. So I double click and enter Inner Socket, then press Return. Then on the timeline, I'm going to right click on the last feature, then select Edit. Now I've entered the Sculpt workspace. Then using the View Cube, I'll click for a right hand view. I want to use Fusion's freeform tools to extend the top of the inner socket body up above the highest point on my profile drawing. So I draw a selection window in order to select the top edge, then click Modify, Edit Form. And now I can use the manipulation tools to drag the top edge up above the highest point on the socket profile drawing. And when I've finished, I click OK to close the dialog window and click Finish Form. Later I'll be removing material above the top line of my profile drawing. But for now, I want to create a new form. So click for a home view, and then in the toolbar, click Create Form. Now that we're in the Sculpt workspace, on the toolbar, click Create, then select Cylinder. Select the ground plane to work on, and then in the View Cube, select for a top view. From the Origin Center, click and drag out around the ghosted version of our inner socket body. And then on the View Cube, click for a front view. Then using the manipulation arrow, drag the cylinder up so that it extends just past the top of our profile drawing. And in the dialog window, increase the height faces from 4 to 8, then click OK to close the window. Now we need to extend the lower part of the new cylinder body down and we need to ensure that it follows the contour of our profile drawing. With all of the lower edges selected, in the toolbar, select Modify, Edit Form, and then use the manipulation tools to edit the form. Use the View Cube, the navigation tools in Fusion, such as Orbit, to rotate around the model to ensure that you follow the contour of the profile drawing as closely as possible. Hold the Alt key and drag to add more material where necessary. And use the manipulation tools such as Shrink to follow the contour of the profile sketch. And then finally, in the toolbar, select Modify, Fill Hole to close off the form. Now we're ready to use the freeform tools in Fusion to edit the outer socket body that we've just created so that it matches the profile sketch that we imported earlier. Use the View Cube to navigate to a left view, and then in the browser, right-click our front profile canvas, then select Edit Canvas. In the dialog, ensure that we check Display Through, then click OK to close the dialog. And in the View Cube, if we navigate to a front view, we can now see our canvas displaying through the new outer socket body. So let's use the View Cube to navigate to a left-hand view and begin using the Freeform tools in Fusion to sculpt our outer socket body. In the toolbar, select Modify, Edit Form. Begin by selecting the horizontal splines and then using the manipulation tools to shrink the outer socket body like this. And when you've done this, you'll need to zoom in closer for more accuracy. Remember you can double click each spline to select the entire edge, creating a loop around the form. Then you can use the shrink tools to pull it in or push it out. And if we need more definition, we can insert more edges by using the modify insert edge command from the toolbar. To insert extra splines, click modify insert edge from the toolbar, then drag the spline to the position that you want it. Now you can edit the spline using the same command as before in the toolbar, Modify Edit Form. So I'm going to use the Modify Edit Form tools to make the final refinements to the edges of my outer socket body. And I can select individual edges or faces to make specific changes to small sections of the new body. For example here, I'm inserting more edges to get the curvature that I need according to my reference sketch. And when I'm happy with my form from this view, I can use the View Cube to rotate for the other view using my other profile sketch. And once again, I need to zoom in closer to my model so that I can follow the contour of my original sketch much more accurately. I'm selecting individual edges 
in order to manipulate them into the place that I need them. Take your time to work to achieve an accurate representation of the original sketch drawing. And when that's complete, you can click OK to close the dialog window and then in the toolbar, click Finish Form. The last thing we need to do is fill the hole at the top of our new outer socket body. So on the timeline, right click on the last feature, then select Edit. Then double click the top edge to select the loop. In the toolbar, click Modify, Fill Hole. And in the dialog box, make sure that you check Maintain Crease Edges. This will ensure that we have a nice crisp edge at the top of our outer socket. And if we click Finish Form, we can survey our model. We can see that we now have three bodies. We have the inner socket liner, the inner socket, and the outer socket.